Okay, in this uh, AS400 tutorial for the AS400 i series and IBM i, I'm going to explain kind of the basics of uh, the screens that you'll see and work with um, on the system. When you first log in, generally you'll be um, be shown a menu. Um, now, some systems or software that you'll work with might have their own kind of custom menu system. And it's kind of hard for me to to um, show everything that you might see, uh, but I can kind of show you generally how things will work uh, when it comes to the menus and screens. So when you first log in, um, in this case, I come to the main menu, and all menus have um, a name, okay? And the programming standards um, are that they always have the, the name of the menu in the top left-hand corner, and a title and in this case here obviously we have some menu options um, below your menu options you have what's called the command line okay this is where you can enter in commands and then down below that you have uh, the F keys and then down below that you have the information um, area where uh, the system will display um, messages on the screen for you uh, that are pertinent to what you're doing. So first things first, menus, okay. Uh, one quick way to navigate between menus is by using the go command. So in this case uh, I want to go to, um, oh th there's a menu called verb. And you can see right here so I just do go and then the menu name and then you see up here we're at the verb menu and I'll just F12 to go back to the menu we're at so if you know as long as you know a menu name you can get there very quickly just by using the go command so go uh, let's see another uh, menu is program this is the programming menu and then F12 will navigate you back so that's kind of a quick way you can navigate between menus as long as you know the name and again the name is of the menu is always right up here uh, or should be up there in the uh, top left of the screen now menu options. Menus are always denoted with numbers. Any number you pick will choose that option. So if I type in a 1 here, it will take me to the user tasks menu in this case. Sometimes uh, a menu option could be a program or it could be another menu or it could be a command. So and I'll just 12 back here and then so 5 and again you can see we're back at the programming menu just by selecting um, a menu. Now the command line is where you enter all this information. So I did a command of go. Another command I could enter is say work active jobs. Okay. So anything you enter on the command line, you press enter and that moves you, um, that enters that command, validates it to make sure that what you're entering is correct and moves you on ahead. Now we get on down to the F keys. And generally, the F keys are always consistent, meaning programming standards on the system uh, are that F3 is always exit, uh, F4 is a prompt, F12 is cancel, uh, F13 can be help, things like that. You'll, there's always consistency on the F keys, or there should be, even on custom programs or third-party programs that aren't IBM supplied. Um, they kind of adhere to these standards, or they should adhere to these standards. So if I do like a work active jobs, you'll see here we again we have F3 to exit, uh, F12 to cancel, and then because this is a, a command with a lot of options, there's a lot more information here. One thing I want to show you though is uh, if there's more F keys available, you'll you'll generally see this F24 for more keys, and that's. Uh, to access anything above F12 on your keyboard, the easy way to do that is think of it this way. You have on on the old style terminals, the old, old terminals for the S400s, they actually had keys F1 through F24 on the keyboard. Modern PC keyboards don't have that. They have 12. The way you get beyond 12 is using the shift key. And you can see when I hold down the shift key, that does this little up arrow down here. 
So in this case, if I wanted to get to the more keys, this F24, you just think of it this way. You do 12 plus the number to get to the F key that you want. So in this case, I want F24. So that's F, that's 12 and 12. So I do Shift F12, and that's 24. So if I wanted F23, I would do Shift F11. If I wanted F22, I would do Shift F10, so on and so forth. So um, if I wanted F13, it's just a Shift F1. So that's how you can get through the additional F keys. So that's just kind of it. That's kind of a quick uh, intro to the system, how you can kind of quickly and easy navigate the different menus you'll see, and then the F keys.